they didn't ha need to have anything more so <laughs> um but no it's, it's a pretty good I mean I wasn't sure if I'd like it because it's set in the 1930s and I wasn't sure whether I'd like the humor I mean that kind of theatrical humor which is fairly old the style it doesn't really make people laugh that much I mean it makes people laugh a bit but uh but I did I wasn't sure whether I'd, I'd like it because I'm I'm not really I I didn't imagine that I'd find the jokes funny um and it was true I didn't really find them extremely funny but um I could see how, you know, a joke back then could have the appeal and raise audience levels. I mean, you could see um, how in the theater it would be appealing, but I don't, I don't myself, I don't myself find the jokes that funny. <laughs> so I wasn't sure how I'd take a movie with the, the kind of comedy that it held. Um, but I did, and I thought it was good, but and it was very neat and, and the cuts were good and the, the film structure was good. And and, uh, and the, the scripts and the concepts that were presented were kind of good. But, um, but it's sort of... Um, And it it did have a peak. I mean, the the struggle with heart failure, with all he had was a peak moment. So of which raised emotions sort of thing. So, um. But yeah, um. But I was glad it ended when it did because I was sort of thinking that I'd had enough of watching it by, by the end. But I was glad it ended on that one dance scene because I didn't want to really watch it much more of the movie <laughs> by the end but um no it's good I mean if you watch it you'll probably enjoy it I mean there's heaps, heaps about the movie to enjoy it's just that when when Ollie starts struggling with his heart attack it, it's, it sort of turns upsetting like it's a little bit the concept of it, it's a bit upsetting and it makes you feel a bit bad <laughs> you know and but I was glad that the dance routine didn't have Holly in a heart attack because I would have found it so upsetting if it had, you know. And so I was glad it was it was done and and they both survived and they were holding their hands and facing the hands well they're both holding hands and they were sort of bowing towards the audience and I, I thought that was a good end. I, I didn't think I thought it was a a good end. I, I don't think any other ending would have been as good <laughs> because I just I just didn't want to see it. Like I didn't want to see more. I thought that end was good. It left you happy. It didn't leave you miserable because it didn't have Ollie having a heart attack all of a sudden or anything. <laughs> um, so it sort of made you feel relief that it went. It went well, and every, and they were both able to perform it. I think, I think relief is the word. <laughs> and then it had the 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 end synopsis or the end phrases in writing to tell the the story of the rest of life. So, um, reading that Ollie had died in the end of a heart failure, and 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 Stan's inability to perform without his part his partner you know, reading it isn't as upsetting as seeing it. So I was glad to have those last kind of moments in their lives in written form because I don't think I don't think I would have been very happy or dry eyed if I had seen if they had completed the film with a the heart attack and a, a lonesome Stan missing his friend or something. I think that would that would have been upsetting. You know, so I was I was glad it was the scenes were shot and ended as it did because I think anything more would be have been very upsetting for me. <laughs> but um, but yeah, but it was an interesting, interesting movie. I think it was a good, good um, remake of 
you know, these really old comedians. So I thought it was a good um, edge out to a, a lot of interesting scenarios of, of the, the events of what happened in their lives. And I know it's, it's, it's probably, you know, people who know about their lives and their biography and will probably be able to draw out um, the um, the things that were true and, and sort of reminisce that, you know, these these are the quite vivid uh, remakings of their lives sort of thing and, and correlate between what they've read and, and what they see sort of thing. So, um, but yeah. And at the end credits, they had um, the real clips of the characters of old TV shows and and uh, and it was interesting to be able to distinguish the real show compared to what was presented and um, 